All right. Can you hear me? Yes. Can you hear me? Yes, I can. <laughs> All righty. And um, let me get the, does the, um, the, the, the Texas Hemp Growers, do they have a physical website or just a Facebook page? Oh, no, they have a physical website. It is um, www.mtx.org. And we have the Texas Hemp Growers. Okay, so let me put that on the screen there so people will be able to find that. There we go. Okay, so how are you doing today? Doing good. It's gorgeous outside. It is. And happy belated birthday. I know your oh. birthday was yesterday. So yes. everybody, happy birthday. For Thank, you. Thank you. <laughs> yes, yes. So um, just to uh, give people a little bit of um, information, go ahead and uh, introduce yourself and what it is that you do and what you do, what uh, Texas Hemp Growers is. Awesome. Okay. I'm Sandra Huddleston. I'm the program coordinator for Texas Hemp Growers. Uh, I was uh, programming the master's class that we had. And um, our organization, we do a lot. We do a lot of, uh, we have a lot of stuff that's really going on right now. We do um, advocating, we do research, we do education, um, keep up on rules, regulations of growing, working with the farmers. And uh, we have two Facebook pages, a private one, and then Texas Hemp Growers. We do, we have a lot going on in our organization. We've been kind of busy. It's been slow for a lot of people, but it's been kind of busy for us. We've got, we started off a campaign with Buy Texas Hemp. We just started off a social media page, our website, and you can go on there. And on our website is where you can go on. It's like a Facebook, you post, you know, you start your profile. And then you can go on there. There's um, there's buy, sell, and trade. There's help mm -hmm. wanted. There's a chat room. Uh, you can post updates on it. And that right there is at uh, www.mtx.org. Oh, that is that is really awesome, mm -hmm. you know. And um, and just to get the comments here, so um, uh, Nathan with Regiment Wholesalers here in San Antonio said welcome. Uh, Adelina Sanchez said hello, awesome. beautiful. Hey. Um, <laughs> and uh, Nate said happy birthday. Adelina Thank said you. happy birthday. Um, mm -hmm. So yes, the good welcome <laughs> here. Awesome. Um, that is super that's super amazing so just um how did you personally get into the hemp world um it started a couple probably about two years ago uh i have a granddaughter and i just kept noticing you know something didn't seem right and we had her tested she's uh, she's autistic she has autism so i started doing a lot of research and come up with a lot of stuff with cbds and um that's generally how I just started, you know, doing a lot of research a couple years back, but actually it wasn't, you know, legal here in Texas. So I was just doing research with some friends in Colorado and just, you know, kind of seeing what was going on with the CBDs and everything. So that's how I just come about it. Personal reasons. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, yes. no, that is, that's so, um, I, that's one of the main things and I really like as far as uh, this is one of the fields where there's a lot of people that are getting it because of personal reasons. You know, mm -hmm. actually more times than not, I see, you know, someone getting into CBD due to life changing things that they've experienced within themselves or around them as far as with their family, you know, there's, I definitely do see some people that are just like, oh, this is the next thing or different things like that. But actually majority of people that I've interacted with vendors, uh, business owner, retail stores, uh, farmers, you know, like a lot of them are in it for very personal reasons that have to deal with the, the helping that the plan is able to do. Mm -hmm. Yes. And, and so here in Texas, so with the just that that name alone, Texas hemp growers, like growing yes. hemp here in Texas. So how excited uh, are you as far as with that? And what is going on so far with uh, growing here in Texas that people should know about? Oh, it is great. I'm very excited. I was so I watched the bill when they passed it live well, for them to start, you know, pass the bill to start getting ready to start growing in Texas. So yeah, I'm very excited about it. With Texas Hemp Growers, we work with the farmers. 
we were doing master classes and we did nine over the state of Texas. We went from the Rio Grande Valley, Dallas, Houston, all the way up to Amarillo, Abilene, teaching uh, farmers getting ready to fill out, you know, the rules, the regulations, the applications and everything to start growing. Cause there's a lot that goes into that. And um, so getting them prepared so they could get their licenses. And when they finally started submitting, were able to submit their licenses. And now they're getting their licenses back approved. They're getting ready to start growing. Um, so it, it was very exciting. That was very exciting to me. And what it is, is what we do is we educate, we do research, you know, help the farmers get ready to get their licenses and get ready to start growing. So eventually all this growing here is going to be selling here in Texas. So that's why we got our Buy Texas Hemp uh, campaign going. So you can buy locally and, um, you know, buy straight from your neighbor, from your farmers here. So that's another thing that we're working on. And um, that's one of our big buy campaigns. And so we, I mean, we tried to gear up to, you know, to the part of everyone. We're also doing seed buys, you know, selling seeds so they can get a variety. It's a TDA list. They have to be on that list to be able to sell seeds, you know, to plant the seeds here. So some good varieties is going to be coming out. It's going to be, it's going to be, Texas is going to be really good. I think it's going to be, we're a big state. So yeah. Yeah, that was my biggest thing when finding out. That was just all like Texas is huge. We have so much land here. Like I'm thinking of all the job opportunities. I'm thinking of all the different <laughs> things. You know, like that is one of the big things that I'm looking at because of just this all the different things that could be used. If we're talking about, you know, housing developments and different things like that, the mm -hmm. use of industrial hemp, you know, as far as to make the hemp concrete and different things like that. You know, like all these different things I look at. Oh, and we have um Rio C B D here from the Rio Grande. It was like, woo, Rio Grande yeah. Valley right here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was yeah. definitely a road trip for me down there. Yes. <laughs> yeah. They've got so much to coming up with now. And like I said, in houses, I would get a house if built out of him. I mean, just the things, the air quality in it and, you know, it's fire resistant. That's another thing. Cause you know, with the house fire, there's minimal things you can, I mean, a lot you can replace. There's some things you just can't replace. So yeah, they're coming up with the technologies they're coming up with and asking it's going to be amazing. And then you also got, you know, your CBDs, a lot of people are buying from out of state. Well, it's going to be here in Texas now. That's yeah. why we have our campaign going for that, for our Buy Texas, you know, Buy Texas now. And then we also, we have a podca uh, podcast going on too, on Tuesday nights. And we have um, a gentleman, his name is Morris Beagle. And mm -hmm. he is from, you know, he did the Hex Hemp Expo. He also um, does guitars made out of hemp. Which is what? pretty awesome. Oh, that yes. Is awesome. <laughs> yes. He's going to be on coming this Tuesday on our podcast. It's in the field and it'll be live from Facebook from our Texas Hemp Growers page. Yes, he makes guitars out of them. So that's pretty awesome. <laughs> No, that is pretty awesome. And, you know, when I look at uh, hemp and especially growing here, so um, for someone who's thinking about, like, you know, first, the rules and regulations as far as with this, but let's just mm -hmm. say someone they're in their backyard, they got like a nice little bit of land, you know, how would they go about growing hemp, you know, and is, if it's for personal use, do they have to go about getting the application for them not to get in trouble? Yes. They would have to have an application to be able to grow. Even I believe, even if it is for personal use, it can go to the TDA website mm -hmm. and there's a video that you can watch. And it helps walk you through the application process. And you also have to do graphics of your property of where you're going to plant and stuff like that. So they could go on that website and see about the licenses to do it. And a lot of people that are growing, there's going to be a lot of indoor grows and a lot of outdoor grows, small grows and big grows. And um, a lot of it right now, mostly in Texas, is going to be for the CBDs because there's not really a lot in Texas that's going to be able to handle the industrial. They're yeah. talking about uh, processing centers, extraction centers, and stuff like that, with it being Texas first year coming online. So that's kind of one of the things we're working at, you know, working with trying to get the process, fine processing, the extractions and stuff like that So for Texas. Because every a lot of people from Colorado are coming to Texas, but a lot of Texas are taking care of their own here, too. 
Yeah, you know, and that's one of the things that I've been noticing because, you know, it's uh, it's ex it's very exciting to be as far as within this industry because it's just like, you know, Texas can be kind of really uh, reserved and different things from these type of industries. But mm -hmm. if there's one thing that I know about Texas is they do like making money. And the yes. fact that this is you know, something that can make money as well as help people, you know, that's what makes this particularly fascinating. And the trade, you know, with the fact that we're able to do this here, like, you know, I have, I, there's plenty of vendors and retail stores that I know that do get theirs as far as from out, but the convenience mm -hmm. of being able to have it here when we can have it here is just yes. one of yes. the amazing amazing things so um what is some of the in the organization what are some of you were talking about the master classes so let people know what kind of goes into a master class there okay our master classes we had a nine-week series we would do one every saturday all over texas and it was an all-day class we would go in we would you know pick us pick a location and we would advertise it people would come to the class we would have i pick the expert panels we would have expert panels all within the field we would have um i had people on there that had lab companies attorneys cannabis attorneys uh i had people that did irrigation we had growers from colorado and uh, also oregon too we had i had a really good lineup for we had we did taught part in the beginning was the rules and regulations and then after lunch we would go into our expert panels we could ask questions and stuff and i tried to have three or four panels on there and i would change it up all the time to i would have attorneys then i would have people in processing then i would have someone that would do irrigation then we would always try to have a grower on there for the questions of growing and um and after that, then we would go back into the process, you know, of identifying the plant, you know, and the planning and, you know, planning and filling out the application once you got your seeds. And with, East, with Texas, our heat and humidity is a lot different from Colorado. So that's that's going to play a big difference, you know, in the plants and planting here. That's going to be mm -hmm. one of the big differences. So we tried to, you know, give them the most information that we could, answer their questions let them speak to people on the expert panel. And I would set that up like every week. And then a lot of them I did go to, not all of them I did, because some of them was like really far off. And um, <laughs> and it's, it's an all day ordeal, but it's fun. It's educational, it's very informational. We advocate for it. Uh, Zach is the president, Zachary Maxwell is our president. And he went to the hearing that Sid Miller had in Austin. And um, he tries to keep he's up on the rules and regulations you know, and pressing forward on that. And he stays up to date on that. We do have a membership, it's $79 a year. And uh, every third Thursday, we have a members meeting on Zoom. Everybody can go in. We go over what's going on in the field, you know, what you're supposed to Planting seeds or start. Yeah, newsletter and um, monthly news. We have also a member coordinator that can answer your questions, you know, on growing and stuff with our members. So that's another thing that we offer is our membership. And for $79 a year, it's a really good deal. It's a lot of information and we're always available. You can call us at any time. And if we can't, if I can't get the answers, I will definitely find out for you from someone else. Yeah. So. <laughs> No, that's super amazing. Like I, the one thing that I really like is just how culturally, you know, CBD and hemp is like people like Texas, uh, you know, we get that um, uh, kind of the stereotype like that, that Southern hospitality, you know, yes. and so I feel mm -hmm. like the CBD world uh, and the hemp world that what better way to to have it you know um than to have that that southern hospitality that being able to connect everyone's like neighbors and friends and family and different things like that yeah. and i feel like um with people being able to get into this particular field you know you have i was i was i think i was talking to someone about this before but it's like you're gonna have college students who you know mm -hmm. or 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 
you know, like trying to figure out a job and now they're going to get introduced as far as by way of being in the, in the fields as far as for helping uh, in, in these um, in these farms, you know, with hemp and different things like that, which is going to allow them, mm-hmm. you know, a funnel straight into having a business of their own. You know, there's a lot of uh, influence that, is that I know, like in Colorado and California, that they actually started off, you know, just being a trimmer, <laughs> you know, and then that yeah. kind of, yeah. you know, gateway yeah. them into, you know, the industry and different things like that. So that's one of the things that I, I'm definitely fascinated by. And you had brought up as far as the, um, the difference in heat, you know, that's one of the things that I've been thinking about as well, as far as, you know, we're at a completely different level of, uh, <laughs> of weather yeah. here in Texas. <laughs> um, but, you know, seeing uh, a lot of the, the products that are made. So, you know, a lot of people don't know that it is fireproof. And so the one thing that I would love to see, and I don't know if they have this, but it's like, has someone made um a firefighter outfit you know that had mm-hmm. a lot that had hemp you know weaved in it to help as far as when they're fighting these fires and different things like that um oh as she has a uh, nathan has a question so uh nathan regiment wholesaler says that um uh the people who are in charge of the growing uh and all how many years do you have uh growing and or do they currently grow themselves? Okay, answer one more time. Oh, so he's uh, the, the people, people who are in charge of growing. In charge of um, growing. Yeah, how many years do they have growing and um, do they currently grow themselves? Okay, well, if you're talking about the ones that are in Texas, a lot of them, this is their um, first time sourcing out growing. Is that the question? Uh, let me see. Uh, let me see. He, he's still here. I'm going to see if he can clarify that. Um, okay. Well, on our classes, on my expert panels, the guys mm-hmm. that I had on my expert panels, they've had years of growing from Colorado to Oregon. And um, yeah, they, they're, they are, you know, had years of growing. In Texas, a lot of them are just starting off. They're also getting a lot of consulting from Colorado. There is people from Colorado down here that are helping yeah. some of the growers, you know, giving them, you know, a heads up. So we we try to get them as much information as we can and, you know, on growing because like it's, Texas is the first year. It's the first start out for us. Yeah. So that's, and with the processors and extractors and every, a lot of them are coming from out of state, Kentucky. Yeah. Uh, uh, Colorado. Hey, are you there? Sorry. Yeah, I'm, yes. I'm, here. <laughs> um, I'm getting a really bad connection and it'll fade. Um, anyway, so that's kind of, you know, with Texas, it's going to be their first year of growing. But um, oh. as far as the expert panels, yeah, I, I reached far and wide. I went to universities, got PhDs um, from colleges, you know, the, especially the one in Kentucky and Colorado and, and got expert panels from people like that to get the information from. Yeah. (laughs) And, you know, the big thing that I've seen consistently is just education. And I love the fact that, you know, this is the education on the growing aspect and the as far as regulation, as far as how to use it and different things like that. So um, just with you being in as far as this industry, what are a couple of things um, outside of growing? Uh, that you're excited to see in the hemp industry or the CBD industry? And do you personally use CBD or hemp products yourself currently? Um, I do personally use CBD uh, products. I do. Um, As far as what I'm excited, there's so much going on. It's excitement. I mean, just the medical that they're coming (laughs) out with and everything. And, you know, there's a lot of rules and regulations with the FDA and everything, but uh, it's really exciting. I've been traveling other than just, you know, doing the classes, I started out going to markets and meeting people. I met yeah. some amazing people. I mean, these are wonderful people that I've been meeting. And I started going to the markets. I even went to other meetings, you know, just at first starting out to see for sure this is what I was wanting to go do. And 
I mean, I went to CBD markets, I went to CBD stores and I met some amazing people and come across some amazing stories. I mean, some really amazing stories. A lot of them have their, pers their own personal reasons and mm -hmm. CBD has done wonderful for them. Yeah. Yeah. That's something that, um, that I see a lot. Um, it's just the, uh, the personal stories. Like so yeah, I'm very see. excited about that. Yeah, I'm sorry, it keeps clicking out. But yeah, I met some amazing people and I've had some wonderful times. Um, I've been going visit with as much people as I can and I'm gonna be out visiting with a lot more people with mm -hmm. our Buy Texas Camp campaign. I'm gonna be going to CBD stores and visiting with people and giving them more general information. You know, kind of what's going on the products and stuff that's gonna be coming out of Texas or, you know, from Texas, you know, buy from your neighbor. It's going to, you'll get a better deal because you're not going to be going through all the wholesalers, yeah. you know, to get it here in Texas. And, um, and the, there's, there's labs just popping up. Everything's going to be lab tested and everything else. So, I mean, we, I did have a lot of lab people on as my expert panels because yeah. of, of the 0.3%. So we got to stay with that. <laughs> and, um, so yeah, I'll be out visiting. I'll be before too long when it starts opening back up. From being yeah. shut down, I'll be definitely out and about for sure. <laughs> oh yeah, that's one of the things that I'm super excited. We're gonna be coming up on our year anniversary of the Texas CBD Fair Market awesome. in June, and so I'm just all like, all right, that's why I'm not doing anything in May. I'm just all like, okay, let me just see. I know things <laughs> are barely starting to open back up, so I don't yes. want to jump the gun yet. So. <laughs> <laughs> but um okay so nathan was saying he was asking because the ground from texas is different from every other state um and so let's see texas people could have grown everywhere and be all educated but texas is hard to estimate because the reason uh, high humidity uh temperature changes every day and the soil is 10 times different than colorado and california um so it is the so that is an interesting question. So based on as far as, you know, climate, humidity and different things like that, um, is that going to be a, have you heard of any issues um, with that? Or do you think that that our particular weather here might have us an, an advantage as far as we're growing? Or does it just need to, you just have to be educated on how to make it work? You're going to have to be educated on how to make it work because You'll get your first frost up north, but then you also get the heat mm -hmm. too. And Texas, actually, if you think about the soils, it's five different, a, a five different, if you break up Texas, I mean, the soils, you've got sandy soils, you've got the clay. So it, a lot of people are doing, it's going to be doing CBDs. There is people that's doing out in fields, but a lot are going to be doing inside growth. There's going to be a lot of inside growth. And then you're going to have your auto flower, which they're going to be able to do year round. I mean, you know, especially in, or indoor, indoor growth. So it's going to be a huge variety and you're going to, the heat is going to be one thing. So yeah, that's something that, you know, everyone's going to have to be educated on, especially in their areas, their locations and the humidity. So that's one thing for Texas, but we don't, I mean, we're not going to have the snow and fighting it forever like Colorado either. So that's a <laughs> yeah. plus for us too. <laughs> yeah, definitely. definitely a plus for us. <laughs> and that, you know, and um, uh, Trevor with the uh, uh, Rio CBD, he was just mentioning as well, as far as the humidity and different things like that, you know. Um, and mm -hmm. so that's, um, you know, that's one of the things that I definitely see people uh, a concern for, especially a lot of people that do want to grow. Um, but that's why this education is good. And, it's, and so based on in Texas is huge. So yes. is there, based on y'all's information, is there a specific city or a couple of cities that seem a little bit better as far as um, um, just surroundings and agriculture in general that seems like it's a little bit better in this area versus like is, is Southern Texas a little bit better for, you know, growing versus North or is there anything like that even that exists? <laughs> Well, yes. Well, we were talking about that when it comes to CBDs and industrial. It seems like more the West Texas would probably be more of the industrial part 
than it would be, I mean, for industrial, West Texas would be, than, you know, for CBDs, because it's such a wide variety in the heat, more heat that they get out there. But uh, mm -hmm. a lot of people that are doing, you know, outside grows, it's going to be, they're going to have to watch the temperature and stuff, then they may be shaded. There's so much that goes on into it also. I mean, you got from when you get your licenses, you get your seeds or you get your starts. And if you're doing outside, you're going to do a, a plastic mulch, or a ground covering or something. And then once you get it started, you're going to top them out. Then you, and then when you cut, you do harvest, you've got to dry that. And it, the humidity, the humidity, and once it's drying, you know, you got to have lots of fans. And um, yeah. so it's a lot into growing. And then once you get it processed, you know, you're going to be looking to sell it. And with as many stores as we've got here, it's going to be, you know, buy local. It's going to be the best thing. So that's going to be something, you know, buy from your neighbors, keep it in Texas, from Texas, made from <laughs> Texas, is sold in Texas. So, yeah, that's one of our main things. And, that and that's, that's going to be super fun because it's like, um, I think this allows for us to get creative when it comes to growing, you know, because mm -hmm. it's just all like um, out of, you know, in a lot of areas where there is, you know, issues as far as humidity or uh, like Nathan was saying, uh, fruit flies. Uh, yes, yeah, grasshoppers, birds. I mm -hmm. mean, you got the pest, you got to worry about the pest and everything. Yeah, that's something for Texas and we know how the Texas pest can be. Yeah, that's something else you would have to be concerned about in growing. But you know, the it's going to be very exciting. I'm excited. I want to go and visit people's grows. You yeah. know, I, something that I just want to see, you know, from the start to the finish, till they get ready, you know, to get it process and get it out so it's going to be very exciting and it's going to be i mean i'm excited for texas that they finally you know have passed it and let it come along as much yeah. as they have oh so, yeah you so know that's and i'm you know excited to see like how they adapt you know to these you know because the thing is that if we're able, you know, if Colorado is able to do it with snow and different things like that, you know, mm -hmm. we can figure out as far as a way to um, mass produce on high levels to where, you mm -hmm. know, it is not only quality, you know, but it's done in such a unique way due to what we have to work with, you know, so whether that's, you know, yeah. certain things that are being built, you know, above it, you know, or, you know, different things like that, you know, using shipping containers to, you know, grow inside and, you know, maybe we'll have farms that are made out of shipping containers. So that way they're not, you know, affected by the weather and they're just like a mm -hmm. bunch of shipping containers that has inside grows in it, you know, like that would be, that would be pretty cool. It'll, it'll take away from the, aerial view of seeing a large farm full yeah. of uh, <laughs> hemp stuff but yeah. you know if there's <laughs> different well, things you, that are yeah you want you want quality over quantity mm -hmm. is what you want so we told everyone you know start out small start yeah. out testing to see what works best for you in your area you know you want the best quality you just don't want quantity and um yeah. so that's what we you know start out small kind of see you know what is best for in your area what's best for you and the jobs, the jobs it's going to bring, uh, you know, to Texas. We've got, like, on our, we started our platform, our website. Mm -hmm. And you can go on our, it's uh, the hemp, hemptx.org. You have your own profile. We've got groups in there. We've got buy, uh, buy sell, or trade group that you can mm -hmm. uh, comment on and post on. We also have uh, Help Wanted, where you can go on and post, you know, if you want need help on your farm or uh, it's for retailers, it's for consumers, it's for growers, it's for everyone. It's not just for the farmers. And um, our Buy Texas Hemp, Hemp campaign is on there also. And um, yeah. so it's just its own social uh, network site, it is. And it's free, or you can be a member and get on the member parts of the sites. But I mean, it's got help on it. We got uh, in a chat room, ask questions, do the chats, and but that the help wanted, I think, in the buy, sell, and trade is for consumers, processors. It's for everyone. So it's something, and it's like I said, to go join. It's free. You can go on there and join, and that's where you make your connections and you can make your updates and get with processors, retailers, and everyone else on our page. And that's super. That's super amazing. And I and I got the uh, website scrolling across. So y'all that are listening in, uh, make sure to check that out. And when I clip this, I want to you know add 
a couple of things i'll do like a little screen capture thing on there so people can see because i think that that's amazing especially uh, in texas where you know i've done the cbd fair markets in i think six or seven different cities in texas so far and the wide array of cbd products and vendors is so amazing and beautiful to see and it's just like to me it felt like you know uh almost like social media as far as like everyone getting together interacting mm -hmm. with each other feeling like family and i think that you know being able to have like what it is that y'all have is amazing because texas is huge and there's plenty of people from all across and us being able to bring this kind of curation together where people can whether you're like you're saying retailer grower or customer you can come there and interact with people uh like facebook mm -hmm. so I, i'm excited to see that That's it, yeah go on go on there it's, it's it's not just for texas anyone can get on it but it is a lot of texas retailers the consumers farmers processors distraction everyone everyone can get on it that's how you make your connections that's how i started making mine is i started going to these markets and then i went to a couple festivals and i started talking to cbd stores and just you know making the introduction because a lot of people were like oh wow we didn't we've never heard of y'all and yeah. i'm like well you know come out to our class or just check us out and see and i you know i'm like i said i met some really good people and then when i went to the hemp convention uh, that was uh, in Dallas last year. I met a lot of people there and a lot of people wasn't aware of the Texas hemp grower. But now we've got a huge people uh, following on our Facebook page and our, we have our members. We have almost 200 members and I think six months, seven months in our membership. So we just try to get out the information. We advocate, advocate for it. You know, we and try to get as much education as we can out there. And with this platform that we have on hemptexas.org, it is, that's where you make connections and it's going to be, you know, to keep in contact to kind of keep what's going on. And it gives you an outlet somewhere else to go look and see. Yeah, no, I, I definitely like that. And, and before uh, we let you go, because it's an amazing conversation. I, mm -hmm. I love hearing these different <laughs> stories. Like it's super awesome. Um, just give everyone just some words of encouragement, whether they're a grower or a retailer or, you know, the everyday nine to five person during these times to you know stay positive and then just yes. another round of uh social media where they can find you yeah well mm -hmm. it's starting to open back up which is going to be great when it does it's going full blast so <laughs> just hold on tight as hard as as much as y'all can because it's when it opens up it's going to open up big and it's going to be so exciting for texas now that it started growing it's going to be open wide up for everyone and i look forward to coming and visiting with y'all seeing y'all like i said we got our by texas campaign going on we have our podcast we also have our web page go on there our platform and go on there and you can always reach us it's at www.hemptx.org and i look forward to seeing y'all coming out and visiting with y'all i mean i'm ready to get out i know everyone <laughs> is just ready to go so Oh yeah, no, we are completely ready. We're definitely excited to have y'all here. Um, I'm getting the details on, you know, right now it's like playing by ear, you know, but I do mm -hmm. want to shoot for uh, the end of June um, or, you know, early July as far as our year um anniversary of the the first cbd fair market um, we'll, we'll, we'll love to have y'all out that would be super yes <laughs> keep me informed and let me know i definitely want to come visit yes thank yes. you so much sandra and happy birthday again thank and you, you enjoy the rest of your saturday <laughs> all right thanks for having me on i appreciate it yes thank you bye, bye. you'll have a great day you too <laughs>